Hmm, I'm bored. What to do, what to do. Hmm. Oh, that's rich. Hey, hey, look at this. It sold 238 million. And I'm um, six of them. I've been neglecting the fact that this is the Ratman experience. This is Ratman's experience with this. So I'm going to talk about my history with the game. I discovered Minecraft back in 2011. I would watch Minecraft videos for hours and play Minecraft on my shitty Dell PC. Then 2015, I was in PA with my cousin and he had a video of a certain YouTuber on. Dan TDM. My literal childhood. I can still remember the first video I watched of him. Now, I own three versions of this game. I own the Legacy Edition, or the Old Gen version. I own the Bedrock Edition, and I own the Java Edition. Java Edition was the original, coded in Java. Now, to that you may say, Ratman, no sh**, but half of you don't even know what Java is, so shut the f*** up. It is supposedly the superior version, but I'll be the judge of that. Bedrock Edition was created for mobile users as Minecraft Pocket Edition until they updated consoles to the same version, leaving behind the console's Legacy Edition. The Legacy versions of Minecraft were used on the Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS4, PS Vita, Wii U, and Nintendo Switch. The Wii U, Xbox 360, and PS3 versions were abandoned and left with the Legacy versions, while PS4, Xbox One, and Switch owners could update to Bedrock, while having the option to go back to the Legacy Edition if you own the game prior to updating. I played this game as early as 2011 on my shitty Dell PC and Pocket Edition. After a while, I was kind of bored with it, so I asked my mom if we could get Minecraft for Wii U, as that was the console that I had at the time. Yeah, I own a Wii U. Sue me. She bought it for me and my brother, and we were promptly disappointed that we couldn't play together because we needed Wii U Pro controllers. She then bought one, as the caring mother she is, and me and my brother had a blast screwing around on the different maps, like the Mario one exclusive to the Wii U version. We still had Java Edition, but at the time the Wii U was still supported, so there was no reason to really switch. Then, I stopped playing. <laughs> Years later, I came back to the Wii U port and was happy. Then I realized it was like three versions behind. I begged my mom to get Java again, and she did reluctantly. I enjoyed playing it on my still very shitty Dell PC. Then, me and my brother for Christmas 2019, we got a PS4 Slim and a Nintendo Switch. We were thrilled to get them. I got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and my brother got a God of War download code, which he threw away with the box. We then got Minecraft for the PS4 and forgot about the Wii U version. We revisited the game years later, and by revisiting, I mean I asked my mom to get the Wii U edition again because we scratched ours up. We saw our old worlds, and we gave it one last chance, took out our 5-year-old Pro Controller, and we had an absolute blast playing the minigames. Now, it's 2022. My brother usually plays Bedrock on his PS4, and I beat his ass at it on my slightly less sh Dell PC. Okay, let's create a new world. Alright, somebody told me to press F3 while I did this, so let's try this. Alright, now we're playing on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Alright guys, I crafted myself a little, like, you know, it's nice. Just got a couple more things, you know, like, just like a couple more things, just because, like, you know, you kind of need this stuff when you're playing Minecraft. I'm trying to find something. Oh, there's a cave right there. You have to get stuff and then. Let's see. <sighs> Alright, let's play the mini games! Alright, I've decided to join in on an online game, which. Um, it's painful to listen to, but I mean, at least I can start playing more golf. Here we go.
Kill this guy. Uh, welcome to minigames. Online RP Prediction 2022. And I beat his ass on it. Now it's 2022. My brother usually plays on Bedrock on his PS4, and I beat his ass on it. Now it's 2022. And now it's 2022. I'm eating pretzels.